Do you have any future plans? I... I'm free tonight. What, what do you got in mind? I was referring to your political aspirations. Well, I was referring to my pillow talk aspirations. I need to talk to you, Timmons. <laughs> I want... Why don't you ever learn not to barge in here without being invited? I mean, if I was lucky, you could have come in in an embarrassing situation. I just got through talking to the warden in Ventura about that guy Addison. Yes, I know. He called up to find about your status in the police department. I could have iced you, but I covered for Does you. Does that mean you're going to bring him in? Oh, well, all right. Listen, we have to terminate this interview, but I'd like to continue over dinner tonight. No, it really would be better if we just wrapped it up here in the office. Oh, you know what, that'd be just peachy, but you know, the only time I have is tonight, and I have to eat, so uh, what about the Orient Express, 8 o'clock? Uh, Johnny's at 7. All right. For God's sake. This is a bad man. Genuine. He is terrorizing an innocent girl. It's not her imagination, it's not mine. You have proof of that? He's got a vendetta against her, Keith. She put him in, in jail. I have a vendetta against you all my life, so what? So you got to protect her. You, I'm going to give you a piece of advice here, you know. I, mean, I don't have to protect her, and you have to stop running roughshod over people doing private investigations, okay? I mean, until you pick up your badge and leave here. Because otherwise, what do we have? We have people taking the law into their own hands. And what's that? Crews. That's <laughs> anarchy. The people wouldn't have to take the law into their own hands if the people whose job it was to enforce the law would do it. And since you're obviously incapable of taking the steps necessary to protect this girl, I will.